Hello, in this video we're going to see if a geometric series will converge or diverge. So just remember that in a geometric series, if the common ratio is um, between negative 1 and 1, then it's going to converge to this formula. So let's take a few examples. So example number 1. Let's take the geometric series Two raised to the two n times three raised to the one minus n. So at first glance, this doesn't look like a geometric series. But if we use some algebra on it, we could turn it into one. So two raised to the power of two n, that's just four n times three to the power of one minus n, the same as saying three times three to the power of negative n because if you were to add this you'd get 3 raised to the 1 minus n okay so let's just write that one more time so you have 4n times 3 times 3 to the power of negative n which would just be 3n if you put it in the denominator okay so this 3 right here, you could just bring it out. And you'd have 4n over 3n. That right there is a geometric series, because you could just write that as 4 over 3, all raised to the n. Alright, so the common ratio here is four thirds. Four thirds is greater than one. So since it's not between negative one and one, it is automatically divergent. Okay, let's take another example. So let's say we have the geometric series pi raised to the n over 3 raised to the n plus 1. Alright, so let's do the same thing we did before. Let's use some algebra on it. 3 raised to the n plus 1 is the same as 3n times 3. So we could bring this 1 third out front. And we're left with pi over 3 all raised to the n and same as before the common ratio here is pi over 3 pi over 3 is <clears throat> greater than 1 so this is going to be divergent alright let's do another example Let's take from n equals 1 to infinity of 3n over e n minus 1. Okay, this is pretty much the same as the one before. You would sp split the e raised to the n minus 1 to e n times e. Bring the e out front. n equals 1. And you're left with 3 over e raised to the n. 3 over e is greater than 1 since e is between 2 and 3. So this one's also divergent. Okay, let's do one where it converges. Alright, so let's say we have the geometric series. 1 plus 2 raised to the n over 3n. Okay, so what we would do here is we would split this into 1 over 3n plus 2n over 3n. So this would be the sum of two geometric series. So you'd have 
of 1 over 3n plus geometric series of 2n over 3n. All right. So this one right here is the same as writing 1 over 3 raised to the n plus, and this one right here is the same as saying 2 over 3 raised to the n. <clears throat> As you can see, the common ratio here is less than one. The common ratio, common ratio here is less than one. So that means they're both convergent geometric series. So we want to find out what it converges to. All right, so the formula is A over one minus R for this one. So here, A, A is the first value when you write it out. So when n equals 1, 1 third raised to the 1 is just 1 third over 1 minus r is the common ratio, which is 1 third. And we're adding it with this one. So same thing, 2 thirds raised to the 1 is 2 thirds. That's what the a is over 1 minus 2 thirds. Alright, so this is the same as saying 1 third over 2 thirds plus 2 thirds over 1 third. And if you were to simplify this, you would get 2 half, 2 and a half. All right, let's do one final example. All right, this is going to be a similar example. One plus three over n over two n. All right, so same as before, you would split this up into one over two n plus three n over two n. So the geometric series, 1 over 2n, should just be that, plus the geometric series of 3n over 2n, which is the same as 3 over 2 raised to the n. 3 over 2 is greater than 1. So that makes this geometric series divergent. And if one is divergent, everything just diverges. So the geometric series, one plus three n over two n will just diverge. All right, thank you for watching. Hope that was helpful.